Okay. For where to start, we'll start on that last possession. Yeah. The defense that it took, have you watched the replay? What did you see that allowed you guys to be successful? Yeah, we had a good group out there to defend. Uh, the first possession, we kind of uh, really read what they were trying to do, called timeout. They were able to draw up another play, pretty good play, uh, to get the ball in Jimmy Butler's hands. The biggest thing about that possession is Royce covers for his teammate. And so he comes over, Yuta doesn't foul, Kai doesn't foul, Royce is vertical at the rim, and uh, we live with the results, which, which was in our favor tonight. Yeah, you know, he didn't finish the game and uh, just right knee. He'll get evaluated tomorrow and uh, then hopefully I'll have some more info from you. Will that evaluation include imaging? Yeah, most likely, Brian, it will include imaging just to make sure we're good. Yeah. Uh, just pretty much uh, he, he dapped up everybody coming to the locker room. Um, I just said, I wish we would have got the rebound on that play. And uh, I said, heck of a win with the group. And that was about it. I, I did not like uh, inquire about the knee or anything. I don't want to speculate. Uh, I'm going to knock on some wood and uh, see what happens tomorrow. Yeah, I mean, uh, you never want to see him go down like that, and uh, any player for that matter. And so, uh, pretty hard collision. Um, but uh, you, you know, you got to give our group credit for staying with it. I think we were down, I don't know, uh, eight or nine uh, to to finish the game and to stay together. Pretty impressive. What do you think that you know, with KG going down like that, and you guys being down nine against a good team? What do you think that says about this team that you guys have the resiliency to? Know, stick through something like that, maybe as compared to years past. Yeah, it was great too. And then uh, you talk about the guys who contributed through that stretch. You know, whether it was Seth who made some big shots for us, whether it's you to being on the floor. You know, we kind of talked about that before the game today. Is a lot of guys have been in, put in different positions to, you know, help the team. And uh, another opportunity and job well done for all those guys really who finish and sustain through that stretch. Uh, showed a lot of resilience and a lot of resolve to stay together. Royce always covering, and then you have that shot. We've yeah. seen it before where he just is the right spot. You've <laughs> talked about the rebounding, but what did you see on that on that play, and what can you just say about Royce and his rebounding ability? Yeah, and I told him I, I thought that he had the offensive rebound previously before that, too. There was a little collision. I thought he was on the inside, so he was at the right place on that possession, and then um, you just count on him to do the right thing and, uh, and be in the right place. And I think he's just garnered the, the trust of his teammates and the, the confidence of his teammates, and um, a lot of big possessions, man. That, that's a physical team, uh, top 10 defensive team. And, uh, you know, we held them to 37 points in, in the second half. So that shows a lot. A couple. I mean, did you think at all when you got, when Kyrie comes in down the floor and takes that shot with whatever it was eight seconds? Left, I mean, did you have any thought about uh, calling timeout to draw something up or just let him play? No, we just had one left right then, so uh, I definitely wanted to put it in his hands and just let him play. He was kind of thinking along what I was thinking. Didn't want another double team, which what they were doing at the end of the game. Uh, and then I figured he could get a shot off, and so uh, definitely wanted the basketball in his hand and not call a timeout. And then just even. Cautious about TJ's minutes and having him healthy for playoffs and everything. I mean, did you when Kevin went out, given that the way he was scoring early on, did you thought about putting him in more just for more offense out there, or kind of riding the hot hand like you've talked about? Yeah, it was a little bit of a combination of what group was going to be out there to help us at that time. So they were really being aggressive with Kai, so we needed another ball handler in the game. That's how Seth came into play. Then for the uh, ability, because they were trapping. We put you to in the corner that hopefully he get an open three and, and stretch the floor for us. He was pretty solid defensively, uh, and so that was kind of the rationale by finishing with that group. Coach, I read that you're a big poet. Do you have any favorite poetry, and have you ever used poetry to, you know, build team camaraderie? Oh, uh, more so for myself. They probably think I'm uh, not hip enough if I break out some poetry. So uh, uh, that's something that for me that's been good for me. Love reading. Um, Love just getting better.